All right, so when you walk in the front door, the first thing you see is the living room. So to the left of the door, it's we still have our Christmas tree up. I just haven't taken it down yet. So our Christmas tree, all of Nova's toys are just kind of thrown everywhere. Um, we got our TV stand, our TV. The ceilings in here are absolutely amazing. They're vaulted, but only half of them, but it still opens up the space a lot. That's um, one of our very first balconies. We have four balconies, but that's one of them. Um, this is what our living room looks like. Our couch is pretty ginormous, like with the ottoman on it, it's basically bigger than a queen bed. So the living room is a very decent size. And this rug is a nine by 12 and it doesn't fill up the entire space. So that's the living room. We got a bookshelf right here. This is our little intercom thing. So when people want to get buzzed in, they ring us, we can see their faces and then we answer them. And then this is my bookcase, all my books and just our Wi-Fi stuff because it was cluttered on the floor. And then in the back half of the living room, we didn't really know what to do because if we had put the couch all the way over here, it would have been a weird distance from the TV. It just felt weird. Um, so back over here, we have my work area, basically. We have my desk with my computer and my calendar. This is basically where I just sit every day to do work, study, all that jazz. Um, my tripod, clearly for filming and stuff and for Instagram. Okay, I promise I'm wearing shorts, but we have this really awesome huge mirror right here from Ikea, which is great. You can see Nova's eyes <laughs> in the reflection. That was funny. She's under the couch. Okay, so this is the hallway. Um, to the left, we have the first bathroom with the laundry in it, and it's going, so it might be loud. So, I mean, my laundry hamper's right there. Washer, dryer, cute little area. What's up? And then this one has just the shower. So it's got the toilet, that's why I keep my drying rack, and then just the shower, which is a very decent, it's, I mean, it's pretty small, but it's a decent size for the space. So it's that bathroom. And then in the hallway, there's this little nook area, so it's cut out. So we just keep our shoes on this, and then that's where Nova's litter box stays, just so it's not in the living room and it's not in our bedroom. And it works perfectly, it doesn't smell, it's great. Okay, so down the hallway more to the left again is the second bathroom. This is our bathroom. This is the one we use. Um, this is the one that has a tub as well. So it's a tub and then also a shower. I need to fix this. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we have a sink, toilet. We got some cute storage shelves here from Ikea that fit perfectly. More storage shelves from Ikea. Mirror, it's great. And I do love this bathroom. So the other one, the tile floors are like a pinkish color, which I love. I kind of wish they were in here, but this one, they're like a greeny blue teal. And then the wall is like a very light bluish gray. It's awesome. Not a huge fan of tile in general, but it, it looks good. So back in the hallway, we have this room. This is our guest room slash our mess room. Okay. So no judging me on here. So it's not clean. Um, it's going to take us a while to clean it because... We just have a lot of stuff. Um, so in this room right here, this is the ottoman that goes on the couch, but we don't want to keep it out there all the time. So it sits in here. And then when we want it, we just pull it out. Super easy. Clutter everywhere. Guest bed clutter. Um, that stuff needs to like go downstairs into the garage. And then these are all of our wardrobes. So the these are like given to us when we get here they're free they're rental we just decided to keep them because um italian homes don't have closets built in so you need wardrobes but the ones at ikea are just so expensive that we were like it's not really worth the money to buy all the new cute white wardrobes because we're not going to take them back to the states because the houses in the states have closets so we just brought all of these in here they're ugly but i mean they work and they're functional um, cleaning stuff and then all of that stuff is gonna go at some point so this room will get done it's just nowhere near done so back in the hallway so this room is our room it's the exact same size as the other room um, but we just liked this one more so right here when you walk in there is a dresser right here that needs to be hung up and then a tv is gonna go right here so this is my dresser we have two of these dressers and this one's mine so I get one dresser Reiner gets the other little chair this is another balcony. Oh, the guest room has a balcony as well. So this is another balcony and this is our bed. We got our letters, plant, and then this is Renner's dresser. So once everything's complete, that TV is gonna be on my dresser 
and then we're gonna decorate that somehow I don't know we'll probably put like a mirror up there and plants and whatever we just have to get an extension cord that'll run from there up around the door and over here because that's the only plug in the room it's ridiculous so this is our room we got this cute carpet from Ikea just because walking around on only tile floors gets really annoying after a while so that's our room and then this room is the smallest room um and we didn't really have a need for it it's not like we have a baby or a kid or anything so it's Renner's like man cave I'll just give you a peek so he's got his computer set up in here it's honestly a mess but it works because he has his own space his clutter stays in here and I'm totally totally happy with it this is his room it's a big actual disaster but we're working on it he's working on it it'll be done at some point I keep saying that about every room but it's true all right so last room in the house is out back near the living room so we're gonna walk through the hallway and we're gonna go to the left right here and this is our kitchen um which is a really decent size actually I was very shocked because usually the kitchens here are really small um the counter space pretty non-existent but we do have a solid size kitchen so when you all come in here, this is our trash can, Nova's food, um, our dining table. I mean, it's it's a small dining table. It does only fit um, four people. I've, we've fit six people at the table before. Was it crowded? Yes. Was it doable? Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter because we don't host that often, so I wasn't too worried about it. Um, but yeah, counter and cabinet space is a bare minimum here. So we did get this shelf from Ikea and it works very very well it is very helpful because I will show you we have no space so that's that and then this is um this is our fourth balcony and it is the biggest no yes I think it's the biggest um but that one's nice we have a barbecue out there and when we have friends over we stand on that one and barbecue and stuff so this is the kitchen fridge over there you can see like we didn't have anywhere to put the microwave so we had to put it on top of the fridge with the KitchenAid um yeah and we have so much stuff up there because like a there's no drawers here which is kind of weird to getting used to and then like that whole cabinet right here isn't even a cabinet it's like a drying rack so you can't really put things in there which sucks um yeah this is what it looks like the stove is great it's a gas stove gas oven um this don't this is because um nova likes to sneak under the stove and it's dangerous for her under there so we kind of had to cover it up and it'll just not staying there obviously once she's big enough to not be able to fit under there, we'll move it, but don't judge that. That's just what that looks like. Yeah, so that's the kitchen and basically the whole house. It's really, really, really big, actually. I was expecting to have a lot smaller of a house, but it's very decent in size. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and we love it, and we're very happy here. And yeah, it is 30 minutes from the base that my husband works at, which isn't great, but it's also not horrible. And we do live in a very, very, very small town, like in the middle of nowhere. So there's no grocery stores very close near us, but the people that are here are very, very kind. And it is a cute little small farm town and we love it. So yeah.